What's up guys, welcome back to another video, The Locust here, and today we are going to be reviewing the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. Let's get into it. Alright, so before we get into this video guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, it really helps out the channel and it allows you to see any new videos that I'm going to have coming up. If you want to check out my uh, Twitch, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, link is going to be in the description. Also my Instagram, um, I'm going to put the link in the description as well, but if you want to see any new content that I'm going to be coming out with, any new things that I'm going to be getting to do reviews on, or any other content like that for YouTube, um, I also have gameplay as well, so check that out. If you want to stay in touch with our Discord community, um, just go to my Twitch, go to About Me, hit that uh, Discord button, and you're in. Let's get into the video, guys. So today we are going to be reviewing the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. Um, this thing has definitely changed my uh, the way that I create content. Um, just right off the bat, looking at this thing, so it is a very well constructed little little unit. It is a a smaller version of the of the original, but um, I haven't seen a problem with it. The fact that you can create different folders with this thing has uh, has just it's been amazing. I can't even really fill up all the buttons. Um, I'm sure that you could find a way, but with the amount of folders that you can put into this thing, it's uh, it's going to be a hard task to do. So this thing does have six fully customizable LCD screens, as you can see here. Um, let's just go into some of them. So right here I have the OBS, and I know it's kind of hard to see on that camera, but you click this thing, it's a folder, you go in, as you can see I'm recording right here. Um, you can go live when I'm doing my streaming, um, and then these just change my scenes right off the bat. I can just click that, don't have to deal with any alt clicking or anything like that. Um, I can go to my YouTube, I have a YouTube channel folder. Uh, you just click one of these and it'll go right to your uploads if you want. It'll go to your channel, you can, you can see how many views you're seeing while you're streaming, um, and then just straight to YouTube. I do have a spot open there and I will show you guys how to customize uh, different different folders or anything that you want I will show you guys that if you go into my twitch I have a twitch folder you can see the you can press this button it'll just basically send out a link um, that will show people how to follow me and where to follow me and all that kind of good stuff um, my stream it just pops up my stream right away I can see how many views I'm at I can click the add button if I would like and then uh, I can just take a clip while I'm playing a game it takes the last 30 minutes if I press this tweet button right here it will actually send out a tweet that I am going live which is really really cool um, I know that this button right here is hard to see, but it is my logo. I click on that. This just helps me with uh, when I'm doing content uh, or I'm just creating content. This is my my pink color that I that I use and my blue color, just the number um, for when I'm using Photoshop or anything like that. I don't have to remember it. Um, also, this will bring me to Facebook so that I can you know start advertising when I put out videos or, or things like that as well as Twitter and Reddit um, which is super cool and then my last button here is the production side so this kind of just allows me to get into anything that I'm gonna use to create content um, very very helpful I love this little thing um, the only problem that I've had with this this device is sometimes when I take my computer out of sleep mode it will it will be locked down um, kind of on like its own screensaver and I actually have to unplug the device and then plug it back in for it to, to boot up again which isn't too bad but it does kind of get a little bit annoying but this thing does work with Mac and uh, Windows PC Windows 10 um, real quick though guys I wanted to go over the uh, the bottom of this thing so it does have some, like a rubberized bottom um, that's supposed to help it from from kind of not moving around that much. I have noticed that what I when I am in the middle of of doing things, uh, I will press on a key and it does kind of move around a little bit. I was thinking about maybe putting some like adhesive down on the bottom of it to kind of just keep it in place, um, but then I won't have kind of the customization to move it around. If I do find a permanent spot for this thing, then I will end up doing that. Um, but yeah, those are really the only two problems is just that it goes on screensaver mode and it does have kind of not that sticky of a bottom. Um, I know that they do try with that, with that rubberized bottom, but it is something to think about. Uh, if you are, you, you don't have like a set place for this thing and, and it isn't adhered to the bottom of your table. Whenever you press it, it might move around a little bit. 
it's really not that big of a deal, but it is kind of annoying. Um, if that's something that, uh, you know, might annoy you, then I'm sure you can find a, like, a way to solve this problem or a solution, but, uh, that is just something, you know, to think about as well. Um, I will actually bring you guys into the, uh, the little HUD that they give you to create these different things, so check it out, guys. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, when I click on, uh, this little out folder, these are the different folders that I just showed you guys. Um, one thing, I'll go into this spot right here because I just have an extra spot. But with OBS, uh, which is what I use for, for streaming, I just created these different little things right here that they give you. Uh, you can set them up all customizable, which is super nice. Um, and then create a folder, which is what I was trying to show you guys. So go into here, into this empty spot. You just drag this thing over, um, type in what your folder name would be and it just puts you know underneath what it's called uh, you can actually go in here and create a new icon and so what this does is it'll bring you to this this uh, screen right here and you just go through and basically create you know what what you want the look of it to be um, so if I put this right here now I can actually copy this if I go down to save key it will bring me into uh, where it just basically downloads this folder. I can open it up. There it is. Right click it, save it, and then um, put it over this folder, uh, which is super cool. And then I can go in here and have, you know, five more buttons. So it's just an infinity amount because you can put folders in every single one of these things, you know, and have five more buttons on top of those. It's just incredible what you can actually do with this thing. Um, you can actually adjust your 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 volume and your mixing audio uh, straight from this device so you don't have to go out of your game or anything like that and just do whatever you would like to do um, you can actually go to a, a different website which is how I go to you know YouTube and things like that um, you can actually save a profile so if you go back here this is my profile right here and I can actually send it to friends that also have the Elgato stream deck uh, which is you know a really cool function um, you can go in put some text if you want to type out a message uh, that you don't want to type out every day as in if you're streaming and you have some commands you can just press that in and, and put that in there I don't want to go through everything here because there's just there's so many different things that you can do with this thing um, but it is just a it is just a quality quality product that that I would definitely recommend using the YouTube thing uh, as far as getting into your channel and putting putting new things out like that, like if I were to click this right here uh, on my Elgato Stream Deck, it'll just bring me right to my YouTube, which uh, is just super nice. I'll, I'll be able to mess around with whatever I want to do. I don't have to go to, you know, Internet Explorer and type out an entire thing. It's just right away. Um, you can also set your, your brightness, your temperatures. Um, I honestly haven't found any... Besides the fact that it'll go to a screensaver and uh, kind of messes me up there, but I haven't found any problems here. If you if you just you know you can go in here, delete that. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yep, done. So the customization on this thing is just incredible. I have had a blast with this thing. Um, I've had it for probably a month or a month and a half, and uh, it has changed the way that I do things. If you've seen uh, like my stingers that go up, so like for instance, we can go right back into um, my webcam, just clicking that button. Those stingers right there. Uh, just the fact that I that I can click on these things, and it goes to you know different scenes right away has has changed everything. It, it's made it's made my videos look uh, more professional. Um, it has made streaming way easier and just content creating in general. So I would definitely recommend this thing, guys, if you uh, have any questions um, or have had any other problems or anything like that. If you have your own and uh, you want to share your opinion about what you think, put, put something down in the comments. Let me know how this has changed your content creating or streaming. Or if you have any bad things that, that you've had go wrong with it, um, let me know because I, you know, I'm always interested in finding new things. Um, but for now, guys, 
don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, I love to see the community talking. You know, we have that Discord. If you want to check out the Discord, if you want to see me stream, I do just chat. If you have any other questions about my channel, how I got to where I am, um, I go to just chat. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. My Instagram is great. I'm constantly putting new content on there of things that are going to come to this channel here. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I also got these little buttons here. Uh, if you can see that, the Locust Buttons um, from Sticker Mule. I have a review on that. I will put a link up in the card below, or up top, I guess. And uh, you guys can check that out. Don't forget to, uh, you know, hit that notification bell. I, I see my videos. I put them out every Tuesday. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.